Hey guys, hello and welcome back here at Minecraft Forge Modding Tutorials and in this video we will be going to create such a nice walking, running, panicking Santa Claus which isn't that hard. So now let's get started. In this episode we will be going to have a look at entities which are basically just objects that can move around in space. So first of all we are going to need to create a new package. As always simply right click and it is called entities with IE of course and in there we will be going to create a new class for every entity we want to make. So I will call it entity human because I'm going to be creating a uh, yeah kind of human like creature and this extends entity animal or you can even extend it entity living this makes no difference right now later it will but not right now so um we can give it the constructor but first of all it wants to ha have another method from us which is the create child method so we will just write in there return new entity human because we want the child to be an instance of our entity human class and simply put in the world object which is the world of the current entity so um rename this and also in the constructor rename the parameter to world because it looks nicer then we will have to set a size for the entity which can be done in a really easy way just do set size and then the width and the height the width is one because it's one block wide and two blocks high so semicolon and now we will have to say that uh, when this entity spawns now other entities can spawn in this entity so do prevent entity spawning equals true and uh, that's what we have to do for this spawning there is an m too much so um now we will gonna have some tasks for this entity so it walks around so um now we will do this dot tasks dot add tasks um uh, this dot tasks tasks dot add task and in brackets a new task so in there there are different classes which um, yeah just are different tasks like breeding or tapping or follow something so the first thing we want to make is that our entity wanders around in world so and um, because minecraft and java starts counting at zero in a list we will have to set the id to zero the, which is the first parameter and then oh i just hit the microphone and then simply put in a new entity ai wander which is the wander around ai and then it's gonna need this class in the constructor because it needs to know which entity it should let walk around and then the walking speed which is basically just 0 0.5 then import everything of course and there is the first task now we gonna need an other constructor so we can spawn this entity using a code from an item um, that can place it so um, I'm gonna be um, linking this code in the description so you don't have to copy it from the screen so we will have to create a new constructor and we can simply do control and no, we can't. Uh, then just copy this one above here, paste it below, um, replace the super in brackets world with this in brackets world because we want it to call this uh, constructor here. So it sets the size, adds the task, and prevents the entity spawning. And now we will have to add three doubles here, which are basically just the eggs 
y and the z position of the entity so um and in here we will going to call set position x y z really simple but really useful um set position x y z so there we go and we now can set an entity in the world but we first have to say minecraft that this entity should actually use the ai task we just added so we will have to write public boolean in here is ai enabled and minecraft um loops through all the entity classes asking for um if the ai for the specific entity is enabled <coughs> sorry and if it is so then it looks for tasks so we will definitely have to return this by true so our tasks are executed so and now we can add some other tasks for example this dot tasks dot add task and now we will have um some panicking tasks so do add task and new entity i uh, there in slot zero and do new entity ai panic and as the above one it just takes in the entity class and uh, initial speed which is 1.0 because we want it to walk faster or to run when it panics so now um we want this entity to follow the player if we are holding an iron ingot or an other item so we will have to add a third tasks so this dot tasks dot add task in brackets id is of course number two and new entity i ai tempt entity ai tempt and as the above one it takes uh, speed and the entity class and now two other variables so first of all the class then the speed which will be just 1.0 then the item which should um, be causing the following which is just items dot iron ingot for now you can set this to any item you want i will set it to an item ingot import everything and now a boolean which defines let's have a look in the code entity ai tempt and the boolean um is if it is scared by player movement as you can see like chicken are i think so um that is basically everything we just want the childs to follow their parents so this dot tasks dot add task and now id is three and a new entity ai follow parent as easy as it could be and now of course this class and an initial following speed import everything and there we go this is everything we need for the entity class now we will have to create a rendering class and a method that can register rendering renderers and the entity itself so first of all create a new package called rendering so it's a mysterious dot mods dot tutorial mod dot rendering and in there another class another package called entities because there will also be some block renderers later on so create a new class called render human and simply this extends render biped because uh, and the render biped thing is just the class that renders all the um yeah all the player shaped models so all the steve models so model biped is called model the float is the shadow size so 
we will put this in the constructor too and shadow size and now let's have a look in the super class so control click and in there there are pretty many methods so what we're gonna need is um two methods basically first of all the do render method um let's go down here to look if there are any other methods no the only methods we need are these two so um copy it and paste it in here there we go and now just rename these fields in here which is the x the y and the z position and then the rotation and it must be the rotation pitch here but i'm not pretty sure if it is because sometimes it is pretty laggy using these values so now simply put in entity down below here and x y z rotation your which is just your rotation of the entity so around its y axis and the rotation pitch so um what this does is basically it just renders the entity so um we will do super dirt do render because we want it to call the super method and now we want to get the texture for the entity so i will basically just grab this out of my real life mod assets folder you will be going to need another um yeah you can just use the default steve texture and modify it in gimp or photoshop that's your choice i will just use a texture from my real life mod and then simply i have created already a package in here so i will rename this to center clause or just to center.png as every texture it has to be in the png format and now <coughs> oh just return the resource location of the texture so protected resource location get entity texture just return okay return a new resource location pointing to the texture you have just created or you have just pasted in your folder so um, a resource location takes in a string as for the blocks but now we will have to give over the whole part so not real life mode but it is tutorial mod and then the path which is assets uh, tutorial mod textures slash entities so we will just have to do textures slash entities because the um texture slash entity because the tutorial mod already points into assets slash tutorial mod and then simply do slash center dot png which will open up the center texture which i will show you now so um we can close these classes right now and what we'll need now is to register these methods in our proxies so that's where the proxies become important so click on the client proxy and create a new method in which we will be registering all the rendering stuff so this will be called public void register renderers as it could be and there we go and also copy this method into the common proxy because the client proxy just extend the common proxy so in the client proxy now we simply have to bind the entity renderer to the entity and this can be done like this so first of all we'll have to write rendering registry dot register entity rendering handler and in there we'll have to call our entity human dot class and then a new instance of our render human class in which we'll have to put a new model piped and the shadow size one
Now in the common proxy we will have to create a new method which can register entities. So simply create a method called register entities. Now as for the register renderers method we will have to copy this method over to our client proxy. And now for register an entity we will need an ID that isn't mentioned anywhere in Minecraft. And for this ID we will create a new integer variable called mod entity ID. So now when we register an entity we will always add one to this variable. But before we do this we will have to set this variable initially to a value that is higher than the highest entity ID in Minecraft. This can be done by doing mod entity ID equals entity registry dot find global unique entity ID. So what we'll now have to do is simply entity registry dot register mod entity which will take in our entity human dot class then the mod entity id plus plus to add one to the entity id every time we register an entity. Then what we'll have to put in next is the entity name and we actually have to swap the name and the id. So the boolean at the back is just a boolean whether it should send a velocity updates or not. So we'll set this to false and then the update frequency should be 1 and the tracking range which is the first parameter um, we'll set this to 80. And the last thing we have to add is our tutorial mod dot instance. So now in your main mod file you'll just have to call the two methods we have just created. So go into your preinit method and simply write proxy.register renderers and proxy.register enter. So now we need a way to spawn the entity in the world. So for this we'll just create a new item in your item package and then I will just copy and paste the code for this Download link is in the description and I will not explain it because it is pretty complicated and it would be too complicated to explain it right now. So I'll just have to fix these errors here. You won't have to fix them because I post the proper code. And now in your tutorial mod item class simply do the usual stuff to register an item. So create a new variable called human spawner and then add this to the item list. So we can now test this out and there we go Minecraft has finished loading now let's go into the world and scale this up and if we now go into our tutorial tab you will see this item.jeep.name or it will have another name for you. So. Now right click and it will place our Santa Claus in the world as you can see. So it's perfectly working. It is running around like a super cute Santa Claus. So yeah, if you hit it, it will actually run away. So yay, run around Santa Claus. So that's it for this tutorial. So that's it for today's tutorial guys. I hope it helped you out and if you enjoyed it then definitely leave a like down below. And if you're new to our YouTube channel and you want to see more of these tutorials and also other daily Minecraft content then definitely leave a subscription. In the next video we will be going to discover custom rendered tile entities which are modeled blocks in the world. So. The right video there you can find all the other episodes in a playlist and on the left side you can see the previous video. So if you haven't seen them already then definitely check them out. So we'll see us again in the next video. Goodbye.